Hello everybody, it's me Heather, and today I'm doing a video of me throwing things away from my makeup collection. So, I just want to preface this video with please don't get upset with watching me throw away makeup. Um, all the items that I'm throwing away are either items that I've had a really long time and it is just time to go. Or they're items that I've had that I've used and I do not like. And I've had them so long that I can no longer return them to the store, or I just don't have the receipt form anymore, and I won't be able to return them. So let's just jump right in. I'm just going to grab stuff randomly. I have a bag full of stuff right here. I'm just hoping the bag won't be too noisy as I do this. And here we go. So the first item I'm grabbing here, oh, this was the um, Physician's Formula Sexy Ice Trio. I just didn't like this. It has a liquid liner, a Kajal liner, and then a retractable liner. I didn't like the liquid liner because it would, it applied unevenly and streaky. I didn't like the Kajal liner because it transfers. You apply it here on your waterline, it ends up down here over time. I didn't like the retractable liner because it was really dry and it tugged at the skin. It just wasn't well pigmented. So although I like the concept of really being able to like do like a black liquid line, and then lining your water line, and then using the black retractable liner underneath your eye. It just, Physicians Formula had better products, and this just wasn't one of them. So, I mean, what do you expect? Oh, you're getting three items for the price of one, so it's kind of not a surprise. This I recently spoke, spoke about, and I said I was going to throw it away, and I am. It's another Physicians Formula product. I like a lot of things from Physicians Formula, but just not everything from Physicians Formula works for me. So this is the Spotless Concealer. I didn't like this for two reasons. First off, I hate the rollerball. It just makes it apply really streaky. And then also, the concealer is not really a concealer. It's more of a brightener because it's a really liquidy, thin texture. I didn't like the texture because it doesn't really give you any coverage. It's just more of a brightener. So that's going in the trash. Oh, this one might cause some controversy, but I've had this for a while. I got this when it very first came out. It was actually given to me as gratis when I worked at Ulta, and I just don't care for it. This is the Too Faced Better Than False Lashes, the Nylon Lash Extension System. First off, I hated the nylon fibers. These are actually fibers. They're little white fibers. You're supposed to apply the mascara, then apply the fibers to the wet mascara, and then apply the mascara again. So although it did, like, give you, like, instant length, I found that over time this would just, the fibers would fall into my eye. And I don't know, I just really didn't care for this. The mascara on its own is a really thin formulation, so it just, I love the concept, but I just didn't like this particular one. And plus, you know, white fibers, trying to cover up the white fibers with black mascara. It's so annoying. This I actually got. It's just a little deluxe size. This is the Color Control Cushion Compact from Amore Pacific. I actually got this in a glossy box. And at the time, I didn't even know what it was. Like, I actually opened up the box in an um, unboxing video. And when I opened this, I had no idea what it was. I was like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> So now these have become more popular. It's just that kind of, you know, you got your little cushion, and this one actually has a little cover. Anyway, but you push the little cushion on there, and it releases product. And I like the concept. Um, I didn't really care for this one for two reasons. First off, the color is almond blush. It was just way too pink for me, but it was a deluxe size sample. So, you know, of course, it wasn't going to be a perfect color match. But then on top of that, um, it had just a really liquidy consistency. It felt just kind of just too wet for me. So that I've had a long time. That one's going in the trash. This I hated. I hated this. I really tried the heck out of this. The Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation. It's the stick. It's supposed to have that little core in the middle. It's supposed to mattify and control oil. I don't know where they got this concept from. I would put this on and apply it and it just my skin would get so oily so greasy from this and this broke me out so bad I hate this product I don't know why I even still have it in my collection I'm throwing it away 
Okay, this is going to be a little controversial since this is really popular on YouTube, but I hate it. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation and the Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC. As you can see, there's a ton of product in here. So I'm not going to throw this in the trash per se. I'm actually going to back smack it. That's where you take, I believe, six empty containers, or in my case, you can just take stuff back, even if there's still product in it, and be like, I want to back to Mac it. So I have, um, yeah, I have six, you know, empty containers of Mac stuff that I'm just going to back to Mac it. So this isn't going in the trash, but it's not staying in my collection. It's got to go. This, the NYC Eyeliner Pencil in White. I like occasionally to use a white eyeliner on my waterline to really open up my eyes or just get some kind of dramatic make effect. But this just doesn't have good pigmentation, and it just didn't stay on my waterline. I would apply it within, like, an hour. It already, like, faded, so. And it's a cheap pencil, so that's got to go. This is a random drugstore, excuse me, beauty supply store makeup item. It's Boutique Eyebrow Pencil in Mahogany. It's just a little too red for me, and I've had it for a couple of years. And I never used it, and I forgot I had it, and I just found it when I was going through my stash, so I'm throwing it away. And this one's from Milani. This is the Milani Easy Brow. This is in blonde. I'm throwing this away because it's just way too light, way too light. Even when I'm rocking platinum and have no roots, and, you know, even if I bleach my brows out, this is just still too light. It just doesn't show up on me. This was um, from a L'Oreal Project Runway collection a couple of years ago. This is the shade The Mystic's Kiss, which is actually a really pretty um, frosty purple, but I hate the way it smells. I hate the way it smells like perfume, and when you put it on your lips, it tastes like perfume. I cannot stand when lipsticks smell like that, so that's why I really don't have any L'Oreal lipsticks, because they're perfumey and... I don't like that. I hated this too. This was the Essence Volumizing Lash Powder. I just, this just never worked for me. Again, this is a great concept. You apply your mascara while your mascara is still wet. You're supposed to take a little spoolie, dip this in, and apply, you know, the little lash fibers. Either like sweep them on while your mascara is still wet or just dab it on. But anytime I would do that, it would all just fall off the brush and land right here. I would just have a bunch of white little nylon fibers or whatever they are on my cheek and I'd have to wipe that off and none of them would be on my lashes so it just I love the concept but this just never worked for me so yeah this mascara I do not like the pumped up colossal volume express it just doesn't do anything for me I like I love the shape of the brush I love the way it looks but it just it smells like burnt hair <laughs> and it was just really clumpy, but it really wasn't volumizing, so I just didn't like the mascara, so it's going to go. This item I've had a couple of years. I got this as gratis from Ulta when I used to work there, the Perk Up Artist from Benefit. They've actually discontinued this, so that's also why I'm throwing it away. If a company's discontinued it and I'm not using it anymore and I have other products I prefer to use, I'm just going to get rid of it. But it had, like, um, a yellow corrector color. It has your concealer and it has a brightener. So I love the concept, and I did like the packaging on this, but it's just, it's old, it's outdated. I'm just going to throw it away. So. A Physician's Formula product, this is the Super BB um, All-in-One Beauty Balm Compact Cream SPF 30. I, I used um, a good bit of this, as you can see. I used a good bit of this. I did hit pan on it a little bit. I like the concept of, you know, it's basically supposed to be, you know, a BB cream you know, that you can just take a disposable sponge. Here, I still have a dirty sponge in there. Just take a disposable sponge, wipe that on. That's your sunscreen and moisturizer and whatever other skincare benefits it's promising. So I do like the concept, and I like the delivery system. My problem was, well, first off, the color. It's just a little too pink. And then also, when I would apply it, it just would be streaky. And it also just didn't wear long. You really got to set it with a powder. It just... I don't know, it just didn't work for me. So I like the concept, but yeah, it just didn't work for me. This, oh, I'm throwing it away just because it's, I have a brand new one unopened. This is actually a repurchase, so this is my second one, and I have a third one that I haven't even opened yet, so I do love this mascara. This is the 
Scandalize Retro Glam from Rimmel. It's just this one's old, so it's time for me to throw this one out and, you know, open up the new one. But I love this mascara. It gives you really, really, really thick dramatic lashes without them being clumpy. It really gives you kind of like that mod, you know, look. Like, that's what I call it, retro glam. So I love this mascara. And what I repurchased, I already have. And, yeah, and actually the third one I have was a gift from Influencer from p participating in some of their activities. Oh, it may seem like I'm picking on Physician's Formula. I'm really not. I just happen to have items from them that I love, and I have items from them that I don't. This is the Physician's Formula um, Wrinkle Corrector and Firming Moisturizer. I just don't care for this. It feels greasy, and I have maybe, like, that much left of it, so I really did give this a fair shake, really did try to use up. It feels greasy, so it does definitely keep you moisturized. And also, since it's only SPF 15, you know, I started to tan when I was wearing, so, yeah. These are from Rimmel. These are the Scandalized Eyeshadow Paint. I love cream eyeshadows, but this just wasn't a good formulation for me. Um, you would apply it, and if you were trying to blend it out, it would just get so sheared out that it wouldn't look anything like this color. It just gets so sheared out. And then if you try to really, like, build it, and like build up the color, it just gets all streaky and uneven and creasy and just, I love the concept and I love these two colors, but they don't, I just, I couldn't get them to work for me. So I'm getting rid of those. This is, I have two of these. This was really interesting and I never really saw this um, anywhere. I received these from Glossy Box. Um, Back when I used, they used to send me free boxes before, you know, I stopped making videos for a while and they stopped sending me free boxes, which is understandable. But um, one time they sent me two free boxes in one month and one had the fair to light and this one had the medium to tan. And these were supposed to be lipsticks, like the perfect nude lipstick. So if your complexion is fair to light, this was supposed to be your perfect nude lipstick. And then this one was medium to tan, so if you have a medium to tan skin tone, it's supposed to be your perfect nude lipstick. So I love the concept, and these are actually really pretty when you apply them. The problem when I, I had with these was they do this thing that these are the only lipsticks in my collection I have that do this, so that's why they're going away. <laughs> that's why I'm getting rid of, rid of them. Do you know how some lipsticks, you wear them, and they dry down, and then you get... All that dry crud right here, and you just look like a crackhead, and <laughs> just not flattering. And like I said, these are from, I'm sorry, these are from Tarte. And I never saw Tarte introduce this to their permanent line. I haven't seen them anywhere else. They were just in those glossy boxes. So I guess as a way to test the waters, and probably a lot of people said, you know, love the concept, but the formula needs work. I don't know, really know what happened with that. Um, this was actually a Clout Perk. If you're not familiar with Clout, I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out Clout. When this very first came out, before it was even in stores, they sent me one of these. So it's just, it's old and it's time for it to go. But this is the Almay Color Plus Care Liquid Lip Balm. And this is in the shade Just Plum. These are actually really quite nice, actually. So it's just, it's old and it's time to go. So, yeah. <laughs> This, I'm um, not going to throw in the trash. I think I actually have the receipt for this, so I'm going to see if I can actually just get my money back on this one. This was the Maybelline Master Kajal, Kajal Cream Coal Eyeliner. This is in the shade Navy Night. I don't like this because it goes on really sheer. It's just like I was expecting it to be really opaque and really dramatic, but it's really sheer. And whenever I applied it on my actual, like, underneath my eye, and I'm... It barely, like, showed up. It's just so sheer. And when I tried to apply it to my waterline, the color wouldn't stick to my waterline. So I was just like, well, that sucks. So I'm going to see. I think I still have the receipt for that one. I'm going to go get my money back. This, I've just, time to go, but this is a great product. This is the Lorac Pro Cream Eyeliner in black. And I always love the packaging on this. You know, Revlon has a similar packaging. And it's just, it's old. I've used the Bajongas out of it. I've used this up. I mean, there's still product in there, but it is just old. It's just time to go. But very nice product.
product. I highly recommend that. I like cream eyeliners. It's really nice. And this is just some random little cheapy wet and wild eyebrow brush. I don't really have much use for it. It's just, you know, some random thing. Be a bombshell. I have a few items from Be a Bombshell in here. Or some I'm not trying to hate on this brand, but I just don't care for their products. So um, each one of these I've gotten from different subscription boxes. I used to be subscribed to Beauty Box 5, um, Glossy Box. I believe um, also Ipsy has probably had Be a Bombshell in there. And so this one's supposed to be a cream eyeshadow, which it's okay. I tried it. The problem was it has kind of a greasy consistency, so it fades very quickly. It didn't last. And the problem with every single one of these items from Be A Bondo, they all smell like crayons. I cannot stand makeup to smell like crayons. It makes me bleh, just big turn off for me. So here's... This is supposed to be a lipstick, tastes like crayons, smells like crayons, the wear time was poor, and it's just, ew, sorry, but yuck. So those are going away. This one I thought I had high hopes for. This is flustered, the one stick. So you could use this as like a blush or a lipstick, and it's a pretty color, but it reeks of crayons to ugh, no end. And also those um, eyeshadows and that lipstick. I believe those are like $14, and I'm like, okay, they're $14, and they smell like lipstick, and they're cheap quality. I'm sorry. I just cannot get on board with that. On the other hand, I did do an Ipsy Bag look with an eyeshadow quad from Be A Bombshell, which was really nice. So, I mean, they do have that. The eyeshadow quad was really nice. But that other stuff. This, oh my god, I actually forgot to tell you guys about this. I should have put this in a, forgot to tell you about this video, but that's okay. Because I'm throwing it away. This is the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede. I don't think anybody likes these. These are so gross. So, this is in the shade Supermodel. And it's like a really cool toned mauve. So, you know, I grabbed that because that was kind of an original color and I thought that would be fun to wear. I think what happened with this was sometimes brands come out with something that's different from what's currently on the market, and I think they get a little too excited, and they want to release it before anybody else catches on and steals the formula and, you know, and makes a better version of it than they do. So this one was supposed to be, what, like I said, ultimate suede. So when you first apply this, it feels like a matte lipstick. Then it gets really ridiculously sticky just like the grossest texture ever so it has like it's not matte but it's not glossy but it's super sticky and also like the color changed on this like it would dry down and like the color you have here is no longer the color on your lips so is it feels gross it just yeah, it was a horrible formula <laughs> and i believe they still make these but i don't know anybody who likes these let me know if you have ultimate suede and if you like them, and tell me why you do like them. How do you make them work for you? Because I'm throwing this away. <laughs> the Inkit, CoverGirl Inkit. This is a retractable liner. I just don't care for this. You can't get a thin point on this. It's just kind of awkward and clumsy. It drags and pulls on the skin. It's a dry texture. It's a horrible eyeliner. I have a bunch of these. Let me see if I can grab them. These are Sephora eyeliners, but these are old. I've had these maybe three years, so it's just time for these to go. Um, the reason I don't like these, for one, I had a lot of trouble sharpening these. Like, they would just, they would be, like, too fat for a, for a standard size sharpener. But then, obviously, you're not going to use a humongous sharpener. It just, I had a lot of trouble sharpening these. They were just, like, somehow sized wrong. And then the formulation these, they were just really dry. They just weren't good, but these are old. Like I said, Sephora's changed the formulation a million times since then. It's much better. This was another dud. This is the Stays No Matter What Waterproof Eye Pencil from Essence. The formulation's great. I mean, it stays no matter what. It really is a good formulation. And But the thing is, they have this weird, like, it's supposed to be sharpenable plastic, you know, plastic that you can use in a sharpener easily. 
they won't sharpen worth a damn. It's just, it's like so hard to, to sharpen it, no matter what sharpener you use, brand new sharpener, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's, it's a production flaw, basically, because the actual eyeliner itself is good, but then you're never able to, after you use it the first time, you need to get, like, that fine, sharpened point again. It's always going to be dull, like that, so. But as you can see, I did, like, I used it a lot on my waterline, but look, on this one, it got to the point where I couldn't sharpen it at all, <laughs> just because, like, the plastic around it's too hard, so. But I love products from Essence, but that one's a dud. This one I'm throwing away just because it's time. My God, look at it. Oh. <laughs> the thing fell out. This is the um, CoverGirl shadow pencils, the Flame Out shadow pencil. This one is in the shade. I don't even remember because I used it up. But I did like these. I'm actually over them now. I'm just tired of them now. Um, when you apply it, it's really sheer, and it has, like, a cooling effect on your lids, which is really cool. But they apply really sheer. They're pretty for a wash of color. I do like them. But I'm kind of bored with them now. And, oh, here's just another one of those Sephora eyeliners that sucked. Oh, my God. This was so awful. The Alme Smart Shade Anti-Aging in Shade Medium. As we know, Alme does not have a very good selection of foundation shades for women of color. And, you know, I fall right in that category of a lot of times I'm at the very ass end of the spectrum of foundation shades in drugstore brands. A lot of times I will be the last shade they have available or next to last. So in the case of Alme, they only had three shades anyways, like light, um, fair light, medium, or something like that. But this thing was so awful. So it's supposed to be, you know, it comes out like that, and you're supposed to blend it out, and it's supposed to adjust your skin tone. But as you can see, ew, look how, ugh, just pink and gross. Just did not work on my face whatsoever. Look at that white cast. Gross. It's a horrible product. Throwing it away. And this released at the same time. This was the Smart Shade CC Concealer slash Brightener. I just didn't really care for this. It just didn't really do anything for me. You know. Got that. And they got the brightener. I don't know. It's just like, it just didn't wear well when I tried it. I just didn't care for it. All right, I got two more items. Oh, three. Three more items. This is the L'Oreal, um, what was that? I don't remember what this is called. Um, lip Caress. I really don't remember what this is called. Um, this is one of those things when I originally tried it, I liked it. But then after I wore it a while, I didn't like it anymore. It just, I don't know. It, it just, it's gross. <laughs> Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquer. I actually received this from Influencer. Influencer. Test out. And I had previously tested this out. I went out and bought one. I just don't care for this line from Rimmel, the Show Off. I don't like the way it feels. I don't like the way it smells. I don't like the way it tastes. Although this one was better than the one that I originally went out and bought. So I guess it, the flavors and scent varies from shade to shade, I'm guessing, but I just don't care for that. And this I've had for a while, and it's just not the right shade. Um, I received this as a uh, gratis from Ulta back when I worked there. Whoops, there you go. Exuvians. They let me have this, and it's just not the right color, so I can't really say if the foundation's good or not, because never really wore it. And I got concealer and brightener on my fingers. All right, so that's a ton of stuff that I am throwing away. So go ahead and leave some comments down below. Did, did you try any of the stuff that I'm throwing away? Was Did it work for you? Did you also throw it away? Take it back and get your money? What was the last piece of makeup that you threw, threw away? I challenge all of you to go through your stash on a day when you have time and really pluck out those items that you don't like, don't use, don't work for you, aren't the right color, I challenge you to go through your stash and throw away some of your stuff. Because, look, I was able to fill up half of a Bath Body Works shopping bag <laughs> with makeup that I am throwing away. <laughs> and I'm not going to miss at all. This is not makeup I'm going to miss at all. 
and now I have more room in my collection for new stuff. Spoken like a true makeup addict, right? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Just leave them down below. I love it when you guys interact with me. It's really a lot of fun for me to, to answer your comments and, you know, hear your thoughts on makeup and stuff I've said about makeup. Um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, please. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so the next time I upload a video, I can show up in your feed and we can have a conversation about makeup or throwing away makeup. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.